Hi everyone, this is Shikimo. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a bass patch for wave music in Native Instruments Massive. This bass patch can produce some really grimy and gritty sounds, while also serving to add depth to your low end and to your mix as a whole. Let's go ahead and jump right into the patch. Producers such as Sorsari, Dead Crow, Fox Wedding, and Trash Lord all use this type of bass sound in their tracks. The patch is extremely versatile and easy to manipulate and process to create similar sounds. I'll first play the patch by itself to show you what sound we'll be producing. Now here's what it sounds like with a simple beat behind the lead. Alright, so starting off you're going to open up a new instance of Massive and load up a new sound. Take the pitch down one octave on the first oscillator and set the oscillator to filter 1. Turn filter 1 to a low pass 4, turn the cutoff all the way up, and turn the resonance to roughly 10 o'clock. Your patch should sound like this so far. Now switch to the voicing tab right below filter 2. Change the patch from polyphonic to monophonic. This will allow the patch to only play one note at a time, which will open up the glide feature, otherwise known as portamento or slide. Switch the unisono to 3, turn on the pitch cutoff, and slide the mixer just a few notches to the right. Next turn on pan position, and take the mixer just to the right of mono. Switch to your oscillator tab, and turn the pitch bend up to 12, and the pitch bend down to negative 12. Now your patch should sound like this. Now we'll do some simple EQ and macro work. Turn your EQ tab on, and turn the high shelf just a tad bit up to just below the 1 o'clock position. Now go to your second macro, and place it on the cutoff of filter 1. Take the macro down to about the 11 o'clock position, and rename the macro cutoff. You can also put a macro on the resonance if you want, or any other parameter you want to automate. This could include the glide time, or the oscillator 1 wavetable position. Once you have all parameters in place, you'll have the patch. Now you know how to design a bass patch perfect for wave music. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and music. Thanks for watching.